likely for people to be down there. But 100 Thieves, I feel like, are going to be okay with that. Drafting Ezreal here tells me that you probably are not going to be playing as heavily towards that lane. You just want to withstand it. Who he on the Nautilus. just needed to really back it up. Instead, they don't. And sure, Corte J had a nice peel to actually prevent Tactical from going down, but it cost him his flash. It gets Tactical incredibly low with no health. That's going to hurt. The FBI. Yep. That was so good. W into E auto. No reason to Q. You're going to get the skills to land regardless because the E is heat seeking. And Gorge J just gets first. To do that. When you vault away, you can follow with the dice and actually potentially get an all in or a good trade or even just retreat yes. back with it. It's amazing because, like, it's it's the very first emote. It's the one free emote everyone gets, and it's the default. And it's like, okay, people are going to get tired of it. And yet it just works so well. The passive yeah, aggressive just like gauntlet thumbs up is just pretty is pretty pog now. Ulti gonna come in. Big bot comes over the top. Big damage. A uh, heal puts him at 200. The flash is gonna get followed though. Out Dragon stacked two by 12 minutes is pretty outstanding. This is gonna put a lot of pressure onto the game overall. Uh, gold lead still over a thousand or about a thousand 100 thieves way. And hey, at 22 minutes we can have a dragon soul. Also, hey, by the way, TF's gonna show up looking for the stun. Stop watch for Santorin, who he wants to find something else. Santorin's going to get knocked up there by Nautilus ulti. And he, yes, flashless, as you called out, is just going to go down. FBI steals it away, gives the team a thumbs up, and it's like, yeah, dude, that, that's my gold. Yeah. So really nice play. Actually able to punish Santorin cross map. Not sure if he would have been able to get out 100% if he had the flash, but at the very least, uh, they are able to get something back. And now a nice engage here on that bot side. Big stun comes across from Core JJ. The re engage. FBI is just dead. Core's mechanics on point. Tacticals follow up very good as well. But a second anchor toss means who he is not done with this fight. Closer can't get much more done. I love how action packed this game is. That Certainly, is there's good. a logic to the build and a logic in this comp. Uh, but one thing I do find interesting, and, and I don't know if you're really going to have discussion for a lot longer in, in this game, is we do have a bit of a lull, is going to be a Moonstone tank. And that's just the champion you're picking. Or is it like, ah, yeah, Lily's a good jungler. Oh, well, now that we're in this game, I guess it's a moon steal. He's gone. Uh, it does cost the ult out of closer as well, but that cooldown is much, much shorter than a five minute flash. Top lane turret going to fall as well. Do you want to point out Jensen did, in fact, solve the top lane turret. First turret of the game went to TL's mid laner up and gap, top, mostly from their solo lanes, uh, as their bot lane was mostly losing, from what I could tell. But, well, at a pretty good time, and we've got this push, and Jensen is low. Jensen is flashless, and Santorin flashes in for his own sleep, but might not find the rest of it. That axe slowing Alfaro is a pretty big deal. This was going to be a four on three. Renekton was seen in bot lane. Ezra was still in mid. They could have maybe tried to push through and find the rest of it, but the bird was slowed, could not find the vault, and 100 Thieves find themselves yet another kill. Yep, the axe slow is nice, but he, you just have to hit that Quinn at all. Oh, they're going in. Yep, Vault, I love this, I he love for that play. And now he's got Zonius, now he's TP'd into bot lane, so now he's here for the five on five. Ezult hits one, turret does drop in what I believe was the mid lane. Um, and now the five on five can start. Santorin waiting around looking for his opening in. Nice scuttle pick up there. If closer lanes to smite, it is Infernal's over 100 Thieves. Anchor's not going to land, but Santorin's forced back. Has Zonius. Here comes the hard engage from Rail. Double Sun comes across. Knock up there on FBI, but running out of health is closer, and the jungler is dead. Hard engage comes across. They've traded jungler back and forth. It's a two for two so far. Alfari in the chase for Demonte. Can't get that kill just yet. On the three on three, though, another kill picked up for Team Liquid. They are winning this battle, and Huhi has nowhere to go. He will drop. Team Liquid will win this fight four to two, and that dragon will be easy as Alfari will claim that fourth and final kill. And we'll see how much more they can get off this because all their carries are still alive. So can they get some additional gold from some towers off the back end of this play? Team Liquid fighting that out very, very well. Santorin and Core JJ do go down, but you keep the rise. You keep the Quinn all safe and they have so much damage kiting back and then being able to chase down multiple kills on the back end of this fight. It starts out here on the side. Core JJ seeing an angle, three members stack up. Flash over the wall, WR, Tactical, ulting to a really great spot over the wall, so Olaf can't immediately get onto him, but he still has full access to deal damage in this fight, and he is constantly auto-attacking the entire time without really taking any return fire until the very end of it. They're able to clean up the fight. Someday died on the other side as he is fairly behind, and Stridebreaker is not going to have you being that tanky at this point in the game. Team Liquid needed to win that fight, and they did. But yep. 100 Thieves will still have multiple chances to grab that soul for themselves. So TL have got to play a very buttoned up game. You cannot afford mistakes around any of these Dragon Pits. You really can't. And all that's happened is, okay, a Dragon's picked up. Good job, TL. That is a positive. But the gold is still basically tied. And that means there's still going to be a risk next time around. You have not 
you know, really turned the corner. That pressure is still there, and Hunter Thieves can still fork your decision making. And now, Hunter Thieves going for an early Baron pickup. It's sub 24 minutes in, the vision is gone. And Teal, you should know, wait, the entire team's in fog. There's the on the way ping. There's the rise ulting to say, hey, wait, no, I see Baron. It's at 6K. We well, got to get around as well to stay safe. Still at half health. And that means, hey, mid's under fire. Mid's going to drop. And Team Liquid grow their gold lead to 1,000. Nicely done by them. You can see both 100 Thieves soul laners were down in that bot lane, pushing there. So they take a tower for themselves, but they lose mid lane tower. And they've lost control of this Baron area. Alfari going to be pushing out top. We'll see who does base to actually answer that bottom lane wave. But just a slow arcane shift from FBI meant he got tagged by the Swirl Sealed and had to expend that flash. TF now they're looking, though, with the TF. Forcing a 5v4 until Quinn can show up. Root on the Demonte, though. Zonia's out of Santor, trying to find the way in. Can't get just yet, but score to Jiggin to buy some time. Still knocked down. The Bash Brothers on the backside, as it's still the kiting game for Tactical. Gets away with one, cannot get away from both of them. Ezreal jumps over the wall, FBI knocks down the kill. And Hunted Thieves so far, so great. There's only one man left alive, and Jensen can only run. Zonia's his pop, they're gonna have the lockdown. Who he may lose his life, he will not. A triple kill right in front. They go back to base, TF faults in, someday T oh, no! in. I can't believe that Baron's still targeted that yep. far out. But some correct <laughs> positioning here. It was 100 Thieves starting it up. It was 100 Thieves pushing the pace. You lost the Keep dragon because you couldn't reset in time after Baron, but this is still going to look really comfortable with the fact that the gold lead is 4,500. Baron buff still on for a Quinn's minute 45. And yeah, Quinn is bot lane. I mean, what are you going to defend? You, you know, sitting here 5 on 5 doesn't feel very good. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like, yeah, you might lose the inhib turret kind of no matter what. I would actually like to see Alfari just knock down bot tier 2. I would. I think there's a there's a consideration for just fully trading these objectives across the map, but who knows? Either way, I mean they're still going to lose top inhibitor. So, you know, if you were going to do it at all, why not get a turret back for yourself? But maybe they go for the base itself. And if these are going to be threatening the nexus, so during the Baron buff, they're going to force the five on five. This is why Alfari has to come back at the end of the day. The turret's still at half HP. Those cannons really chunking away at it right now. It is getting very low, and a beautiful Ezreal lol. Getting so much damage out there from FBI. I think with them healed back up, 100 Thieves look like they would want to try to back it up a little bit here. But they're staying around for now. They've got to be careful about it. any potential engage. But this this Nexus turret is going to go down for sure. All right, turret is going to drop. There's one left. At what point does the fight begin? Because again, Alfari, this is such a late cleanse. Yeah. The gold card ended by them, but he's afraid of someday jumping onto him. I understand why he pressed it, but... Uh, takes a bunch of damage. Let's go back to the fountain. Half health left on this Nexus turret. Swirls, he's going to hit two. That's the sleep. That's the go sign. Ezult, while he's napping, Jensen at half HP, and they will not engage. There's the hook in for Huhi, though. Zonia's for Santora. Now big damage to Core JJ. Gets three with it. Gets one for one, but a second kill comes across. And it's time for Closer to run out. Team Liquid stuck in a 3v4 now as they lock down as much as they can to these minions. The turret's still pretty low. Tactical's got to be careful. They're nearby. They're going to find the big stun. They're going to find a slice and dice. And Closer finds himself the kill. And a 4v2, it's going to be Alfori getting a single kill, but a 3v2 is enough to close it out, and 100 Thieves will advance and stay in first place, knocking down Team Liquid. What an ending! 